Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do two monitors plugged into, or one monitor plugged into a laptop on Linux Mint. What's it doing? Uh, I haven't configured this at all. This is, um, so there's the first screen and then there's the second monitor there. I just installed this today and, oh, what's it doing? I've got two, it might be duplicating it, so I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how I'm going to configure this, because I've never done this on Linux before. Like a multi-monitor thing, I want to do two desktops. Oh, it's doing, what's it doing? Right, you've got two screens, the same. Right, so yeah, that's mirroring. Oh, I'm going to fix that then. Um, I've never done this before, so. Right, so I've got two. There is a thing you can do where you can have two um, workspaces or something. So, uh, so there's the laptop, and then there's the second monitor there. That's an LCD. So how am I gonna? F there was a thing. There's like a setup thing on it. I'm not sure that's coming out right actually. That's just the startup screen. Uh, so it is mirroring both. I want to span. I'm, I want to span the monitors. So when you get like one thing and it drags it to another. This is quite an old one. I downloaded it about oh, two months ago or something. And I don't know why I downloaded an older one. This is 19 is out now. So I don't know why I didn't get 18. I don't know. But you can update these because they have like a couple of years support on them or something. Oh, what's going on with that? Oh, it's only, why is it running? Oh, I don't get that. Unless it's something to do with the two monitor. Right, okay. What I'm trying to do is to get... Is it possible to have two workspaces and then have like two different instances of... Firefox on so one on one screen and one on the other so you can do like um, YouTube on one and then say do Twitter on the other or something like that no that doesn't help me either this is um, XF what's it called uh, the it's not cinnamon and it's not uh, Marte or whatever it's called uh, I don't know how this works um yeah, that's that's the that's the uh, yeah. Would that be left of what the the original screen then? Yes, that's what I wanted. So what I've got here is this monitor is the laptop, and that's the main. What's oh, doing something weird? What's it doing? I never wanted it. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Did I, did I not confirm that Windows does that thing where it, um, right, so that's, yeah, okay, so that's the first monitor, and this is the second monitor, I didn't confirm it, it's, it does that thing where it counts down just in case it's not compatible with the monitors, and that's plugged into there, there it is there, uh, just a, a SVGA, really basic standards, not even HDMI, it's quite an old laptop, 2007, I think this one is, at the same time, which is, um, so can I get two instances of Firefox, was it going to be funny with me, it gave me that error message a minute ago, strle.net, can I drag that to the other screen, I can, okay, that's weird, <laughs> I'm always fascinated by spanning, Look at that. That's amazing. So that's the second desktop. Oh, is that the second workspace? I'm not sure if that even counts as a workspace. I don't know. Right, I'm loading another uh, instance of... So it's allowing me to have two instances of Firefox at the same time. Remember, this is a single core 32-bit. This is Southern M. This is um, Yona, I think. So there's Tiara Lee. And then I've got... I could go on YouTube or something, couldn't I? I don't know if it will strain the processor because it's it's dividing its 
quartering itself into little pieces there. I've got Yahoo search. I don't know why I can't get Google on Firefox. I've no idea why. So I'm going to go on YouTube with that horrible polymer look thing. I've got this thing on my main Windows setup that can disable that, but it, it slightly plays up. It slightly malfunctions when you do Tamper Monkey, which is what I've got on the um, my Windows system. I'll put in something that's not going to get me a copyright strike. Um, that's too major. And see if it can actually do two instances of Firefox on two monitors and see if it'll do it. So I just want to see if it works. It might struggle. I think it probably Don't will actually. Yeah, there's got so I've got two monitors going on. I want to see if it'll actually sh it'll handle it really well or not. Right, so we've got that going on there. It might be a bit slower though. I don't know about Chrome, that might be a bit heavy for this. But um, Firefox seems to be doing it. And there's TRD.net, so I'm playing a video on one monitor. This is the same laptop, this is not two different computers. And it seems to be doing it, maybe it's a bit slower, but um, I'm quite impressed with that actually. That's it's yeah, a little bit slower maybe because I'm doing, I am doing YouTube at the same time. I didn't think it would be able to handle that at all. I didn't know you could even do this. I thought, I'll just try this thing out and um, see if it'll actually be able to um, manage it. And it can, so I'm quite impressed. I don't know why that's so dark. Uh, is it something to do with the blanking? Is it something to do with the... I don't know what... It was heavyweight in its time, but... Mint can't be any more heavyweight than Vista was when it was new. And these things had one gig on them. Originally, it's got two gig on it now. Ah, uh, you know what it is. It's the... Right, the... Because I didn't have it at the right angle. This screen has a fairly narrow angle for its... Um... Yeah, this is not my video, but this the two made is not my channel. It's someone else's. I've no idea whose it is. So yeah, there it is, it's doing it. I didn't think it'd be able to handle it and it's doing it much better than I thought it would. So I'm gonna wait on a minute. Very surprised at that actually. Very surprised. But um Yeah, move that across that's a bit you can see that better. Yeah. Two workspaces, two monitors on the same laptop with Linux Mint. Amazing, that is. Didn't think that would actually work. But it is working quite well actually, that is. Now that I'm down at it. Well, that's me thinking this machine is um, too slow for this, and actually it's doing quite a reasonable job at um, doing two, two displays. I mean, YouTube's going to run slow on it because it's not fast. This machine is 10 years old, but it can do two screens. Uh, productivity goes up, so you can have one screen with, say, email, and the other one with a game or something. Yeah, Linux Mint with two screens. Just something I discovered on the um, two setup, two screen setup on Linux Mint on the laptop is that there's screen savers, which I knew about, and there's the one with the Hellraiser, and I thought this would be just interesting, and I just previewed it. And there's this really weird thing, right? Start off with two, yeah? And then it does a weird thing where... I can't really see both of them, but... They actually differ, which is really weird. Start off the same and then they change. 
So I wasn't expecting that actually. They're different. How the how do they do that? I don't get it. What's going on with that? I'm quite I'm quite amazed at that. It, I thought it would be the same thing and two monitors, but it's not. Very clever that. The magic of two screens on Linux. On a laptop. They're two different ones, how do they do that then? I mean that one. It's different from that one. And that one is not the same as that. And that one's different. <laughs> is it? Yeah. That's crazy, man. And the mint configuration.